Hey Health Junkies, it's time for The Health Fix. Join your host doctor, Janine Krause, as she gives you a dose of what you need to know and do right now to take control of your health from the inside out to rebel against aging, look damn good, fight stress, and laugh every day. Hello, health junkies. Welcome to another episode of The Health Fix. I'm your host, Dr. Jimmy Krauss. And today we're going to talk about how your own blood can help you to treat bald spots, fine lines, wrinkles, scars, and even tendon or ligament injuries, and even even bone um, issues in some cases, as well as muscle tears. And so in my practice, I do platelet-rich plasma in, in two kind of arenas. I'm working on fine lines and wrinkles as well as scars. And then I'm also working on injuries. And so if someone has a sprain or strain or they have a muscle that has been torn, I will work on helping to try to heal that up using their own plasma. So that being said, a lot of people are like, ooh, my own blood, I don't know. Well, it's your own blood. There's no chemicals involved. The only really chemical I use is something called calcium chloride, which is a activator of your own platelets. And so let's kind of go through what platelet-rich plasma is all about and and see what I can teach you a little bit about this. So platelet-rich plasma, what the heck does that mean? It goes in terms of the lingo PRP. Your platelets are what your body uses to create a plug should you have any type of injury. Plus the platelets also work to heal up your tissue because your platelets are able to secrete different types of growth factors. So meaning they can promote tissue growth, but they can also deliver the cytokines, which are, which are a type of growth factor, but these are more like a cell signal and communication type of messenger. And so platelet rich plasma is really a treatment that's taking your body's own molecules that it would normally use to help you to heal, say, a scrape or a injury and directing them right to the source of the injury. Because it's so directed, I find it as a way to kind of cheat or speed up the healing response. Now, let's back up a minute here. Why would we want to speed up a healing response? Well, Tendon and ligament injuries take a long time to heal. If you've had a tendonitis, if you've had a sprain or strain, you know that it's it's a little bit of time before that gets healed up. And say you're wanting to get back and right into the sport that you participate in, or say you know, you've been dealing with an issue that has been going on for a long time, and you're like, man, I cannot deal with this, you know, sprain or strain any longer. Well, platelet-rich plasma is key for that. It's also really key in helping folks who might have overuse types of injuries or cases in which they have a bone spur that has created a tear in, say, a tendon. And in particular, I use platelet-rich plasma a lot for my patients that have rotator cuff injuries. Now, the other use for platelet-rich plasma that I love is that I use it for fine lines, wrinkles, and scars. And... What happens in this case is that fine lines and wrinkles, of course, are signs of aging. And our body, signs of aging are areas that the body's kind of forgot about or is not working at currently in the direct moment. And and it's usually because, well, let's face it, we either have other things the body's inflamed about and it's working on that, or say we have leaky gut, our digestive system's trash, we've got a bunch of molecules getting across the digestive system lining, and the body's kind of chronically inflamed and doesn't really know where to direct its attention. Combine that with being stressed, combine that with the active uh, crazy lifestyles that we lead and our bodies get confused as to where they need to donate their time. And so what platelet-rich plasma does is it basically takes the body's good stuff, um, all of the good growth factors that promote tissue growth and healing, as well as all the growth factors such as cytokines that help to promote signaling and really get a immune system reaction going. It basically takes all of that and we can inject it right in to the site that the body needs some help with. So 
what happens with platelet-rich plasma is literally we're going to draw your blood. And we're going to take that blood out, we're going to spin it down, and we're going to put it through a process in a centrifuge that is specific to helping to separate your plasma from your red blood cells. Then we'll take that blood out and we will add it to some 10% calcium chloride to activate those platelets. And then we take that blood and inject it right into, say if you have a tendon or ligament injury, we're gonna inject that into that spot. Or if you have a muscle tear, we'll inject it there. Or I'll inject it into fine lines, wrinkles, or scars to help to literally tell the body, hey, right here, you need to focus. And so once that gets the platelet lich rich plasma gets injected, what's going to happen is the body's going to create a process much like what it would say you just cut your finger. And what's going to happen is we're going to have these platelets getting really activated right around your tissue injury. And then what's going to happen is we're going to have the triggers of all of these molecules being told to come to that area. Basically like a big signal saying, hello, I need to get inflamed here. I need to get good molecules over here to help me heal up. And one of the things that I like to think about in this case is that we think a lot of times as inflammation being a bad thing. Inflammation is a natural process that helps us to heal our tissue from wounds. But unfortunately, this day and age, our bodies are a little over crazy with the inflammation and they're confused. And so we oftentimes will get inflammation that lasts too long in certain areas and we'll have inflammation that is not necessary in many areas of the body and it's usually because of leaky gut and foods getting crossed into the bloodstream. So I divert my conversation once again with with you all. Apologize. Let's go back to the basics here though. So we take that plasma and we inject it in and what we're doing is we're triggering a healing response. And so it's going to ache, it's going to hurt a little bit. And you might be thinking, well, I already told you that that area hurts. Why would you want to put something in there that's going to make it hurt anymore? Well, the idea here is to really ramp up the body's response to heal that ligament sprain or strain or muscle tear, or in terms of the fine lines, wrinkles, and scars, we're trying to get the body to heal up that area quick. And we're trying to promote some tissue growth. And so platelet-rich plasma will ache a little bit. It'll hurt for a little while, almost like you re-injured yourself. So it's almost like the process of re-injuring yourself to get full healing from a sprain, strain, tear, or age, signs of aging in this case. So you have your blood drawn, it's spun down. We add that plasma to calcium chloride. So at this point, we have removed the red blood cells. We are using solely your platelets and we're combining them with a little calcium chloride. And then it's injected right to those spots that need the help the most, whether it's a sprain, strain, tear, or it's a fine line wrinkle or scar. Then needle comes out, all the good platelet rich plasma is in there. Now what's going to happen is you're going to have that healing that's going to be triggered. And we're going to have all of the cellular communication happening where we're getting all the proteins we need to help to heal that area up. In particular, what's in platelet-rich plasma is a lot of growth factors. The word growth factor is super hot in in cosmetic dermatology, and it's it's all about these serums and and moisturizers and whatnot with their with their peptides and their growth factors. And yes, they're useful. But being able to inject them right to where you need help the most, way better than having to rely on them getting absorbed across your skin barriers. So I like to think of platelet-rich plasma, otherwise known as PRP, as a direct, so skipping all the BS and going direct to the spot where you need the help the most. And it's going to speed it up and it's going to go very fast to help to heal that area. Now, what happens once you get that inflammation response going is that you've got all the growth factors like I mentioned. You've got these proteins calling all their friends in and you've got this huge immune reaction. Yes, it's going to ache a little bit. It's going to be hot. It's going to be inflamed. Usually lasts about two weeks or so fully. Now, you're probably thinking, oh my gosh, two weeks, that's horrible. <laughs> you really, the first 48 hours is the most achy for folks. After that, the response kind of cuts down. Think about it in terms of when you first hurt yourself. 
Usually, if you cut yourself pretty good, the first two days kind of suck. And then after that, you can deal with it. And, and the same thing happens here with platelet-rich plasma. It sucks for about 48 hours. After that, not so bad. Then you let the body go. You let it do its thing. I give a month in between each of my treatments, and I usually do three to four treatments to help to get people back up and running. In terms of the tendon and ligament and muscle tears, I typically need only about three to four treatments. In terms of tissue regeneration, sometimes I need a little bit more than that. And in this case, I'm typically with the the tissue, so if I'm working on face, so fine lines, wrinkles, scars, I'm also going to be using oftentimes microneedling, which is about 12 little needles that are going to puncture the superficial tissue and go into the dermis, just the tip of the dermis. And I can also use some of the platelet-rich plasma to go superficially. And so because the fine lines, wrinkles, signs of aging, and sometimes scarring are a little bit more broader of an area than just the pinpointed, hey, this is where a tendon, ligament, sprain, strain, etc. is, I will use platelet-rich plasma and microneedling on top of it. Now that sounds kind of crazy, but think of it this way. To get all of the good stuff in, and I'm injecting it into your fine lines and wrinkles, so much like a filler is injected along the line of a Um, area of a wrinkle or a fine line, I'm going to do the same thing with the platelet-rich plasma, but I'm also going to get on top. And so it's a uh, two-stepped approach in in my process to help folks with getting the platelet-rich plasma delivered to the tissue and to the proper areas. Also, platelet-rich plasma is really great for hyperpigmentation, so discolored skin and also for acne scarring. And I use it a lot for that as well. And that's why the microneedling combined with the injections, because Let's face it, for a lot of people, multiple, multiple injections can be tough. And so the microneedling, while it sounds like maybe more torture because it's all these small little needles, it's not as painful as multiple injections. And so sometimes I will do that for the regeneration. So, all right. So we have this platelet-rich plasma in the tissue and we, we get a month in between what happens after that. Well, usually I like to think of it as about a quarter to 25% improvement in that in that month, and then we get another improvement within another month, we get another improvement within another month. And in terms of the facial skin, I usually see the most results after the second round of injections. Same thing goes with hair regeneration as well. First time around, we get a good inflammatory response, baby hairs start to maybe grow, but by the second time, that's usually where the body kind of catches on as to what we're up to. In terms of tendon, ligament, muscle, sprain strains, tears, you can get response within first first treatment. And depending on the individual, if it is an acute type of injury, meaning it's just happened within the last six weeks, I will oftentimes treat once a week. And I have also treated once a week in terms of some of my chronic patients' issues, especially if they have um, sports issues coming up, like golf season's coming up, or say you're a CrossFitter and you've got the Open coming up, you want to get in and and keep going with your sports. Or say you're just anxious, right? You want to get back in, you want to do, you want to do what you want to do. You're not a person that wants to sit around and wait. You can do platelet-rich plasma um, each week and it's just a matter of being a little more intense, but it can happen. And in terms of ages and age range, in terms of the injections for tissues, for sprain strains and tears, it doesn't matter the age. I've worked on folks as young as 15 and old as 74. In terms of skin for facial rejuvenation, I do a lot better and I see a lot better results in folks over 40 years of age. And that's in terms of fine lines, wrinkles, and age damage because prior to age 40, it's something about you're just not going to get as much of a dramatic response. Not saying it's not going to work. The dramatic responses come after 40 years of age. So tissue that's a little bit more damaged um, and and been around, I guess. But I'm not one to say that using platelet-rich plasma for preventative purposes is a bad thing. In fact, I am not quite 40 myself at the time of this recording, and I use platelet-rich plasma on my own skin, and I've seen a ton of change with time and also 
I suspect that I'm holding back um, some of the progression of my skin that normally would happen because I happen to have a love affair with the sun. And unfortunately, it's one of those addictions that's really hard to give up. I just love being out in the sun and being out and active. And so my way to prevent sun damage issues is to just do platelet-rich plasma every single month and work on preventing things in that department. Now, every single month of my life, I better digress on that one or, or, or switch back here. I don't do it every single month of my life. I actually will do it during the winter and then cut off and let the summer go and I take a six-month break on it because I do think there is a point at which you could overdo the platelet-rich plasma. So something to keep in mind for those of you out there that are wanting to do the facial regeneration or rejuvenation and just you can't do it every single month for your whole life but definitely you can do it throughout the winter and cycle on and off now those of you with chronic tendon issues sprain strains etc this is something that i usually do a three to four series and then we let it go and platelet rich plasma will last three to six months in the body. And I have some folks that actually have done platelet-rich plasma on four rounds and they're still good and it's been over a year. But three to six months is the the lasting, de, you know, kind of determinant in terms of when you need a refill uh, or when you need to re-up your treatment. So in the case of someone who's coming for a platelet-rich plasma facial rejuvenation series, usually what I have folks doing is three to four treatments, then we wait three to six months and see what happens. Now, those folks who last six months in between a series, these folks are the ones who are taking better care of their body. Because I'm using your blood, I do recommend for my patients and for anyone who's interested in this, that you're eating as clean as possible. Because if you're putting, if you're eating a bunch of junk food and you're drinking a bunch of alcohol and you're treating your body really poorly, well, guess what's you're going to be in your blood? It's going to be crap blood. And I, I actually tell my patients that they're wasting their time if they're sitting there hitting up McDonald's and Burger King and all the junk food places and eating a bunch of trash food and then wanting facial rejuvenation with their own blood. Forget it. I, I actually do highly recommend that folks are going to take care of themselves because you'll get a lot better results and lasting results. In terms of tendon, ligament, sprain, strains, these individuals usually don't need a follow-up. This is, you do four, your series of four, and you're good to go. Um, if someone is older and has chronic issues with a bone spur or something of that nature, yes, every three to six months you might need a tune-up, but for the most part, you, you get your four series and you're done. When it comes to facial rejuvenation, it's a little bit different. I happen to be a little bit obsessed with with repeating these treatments basically because I'm kind of an experiment of myself and I like to see what happens and, and I won't do anything on my patients that I haven't done on myself. And so I kind of push it to the limits with the platelet rich plasma and I do do it for six months on um, once a month during the winter, but during the summer I do take a break. And so something to think about, there are different ways to, to work with the platelet rich plasma. And I'm not, I'm not saying that this is the standard. It's definitely not. I play with it a little bit differently. So there you have it in terms of the standard protocols. Now, what does it feel like it does not feel like Botox. That's one of the big questions that a lot of my patients will ask in terms of the facial rejuvenation. It is a lot of injections, but it is not like Botox. It's really actually kind of cool when it goes in the body, but it does not feel like ice crystals or, or glass going into your face like I suspect. Um, well, it's how Botox feels to me, but however it feels to other folks, I don't know. But it hurts, um, and a lot of people have talked about that. And so in this case, can you overfill with platelet-rich plasma? No. What's going to happen is when someone leaves my office, they will look lumpy because we are injecting, and, and oftentimes I'll over-inject in certain areas to try to really ramp up an inflammatory reaction. You have a downtime of about, like I said, 48 hours. For some super sensitive folks, it might be 72 hours. After that, you're good to go. So my PRP days do have happen on Fridays and then by Monday folks are ready to go back to work and all's good and really the majority of folks are going to have just some lumpy kind of redness to the face and nothing major at one point there was a video online of the vampire facial that Kim Kardashian had and there was blood all over her face that is an extreme 
uh, version of what this is. It is you will not have a bloody face. You will have a face that looks red and slightly inflamed if you do the micro needling with the platelet rich plasma um, injections, but it's going to feel like a, a light sunburn. It's not going to look like anything horrifying like this thing that's called the vampire facial. I do not do the vampire facial at all. I do my own type of treatment in this case. So that's one thing to think about there. Now, if you are the individual that wants to think about this in terms of the tendon, ligament, or muscle tear type of treatment, usually what you're going to feel is hot in that area of injection, and that, that wears off about 48 hours or so after that injection. And it's going to feel like something happened there. It's, it's going to be much like you've got a wound there for about 48 hours, on the rare case, 72 for most folks. But after that, it wears off. In terms of, can, do you need to restrict your activities? No, I want folks doing stuff. Do I want you to push it to the limits? No, but I want folks doing stuff moving. If you play tennis, if you play golf, if you do CrossFit, I want you to do those things um, because your body needs to keep moving and we need to keep pumping blood through that area that we've created inflammation and in so that we can bring in good stuff and, and flush out the bad stuff. And that being said, I often combine acupuncture weekly in between these platelet-rich plasma sessions because it helps just so immensely to, to activate and promote the treatments even better. So if you are looking into this and you're looking for a doc, look for somebody that can refer you to an acupuncturist, or if you have an acupuncturist, do that in between. It, 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 hands down ramps up your efficacy of your treatment. It just makes it a heck of a lot better and it helps you to manage the the inflammation and and things, especially in those first 48 hours. So that being said, what do you expect after the the first four weeks? Well then you you pretty much don't have any pain per se going in in terms of folks with the facial rejuvenation or scar rejuvenation, but those with the the tendon, ligament, sprain, strain, or muscle tear, you might go back to having some more pain as if the original injury came back. Now, I don't want folks to panic in that case because remember, we are working, we're kind of chipping at it away, we're trying to get the body to focus in that area and heal it, and it, and it takes a little bit. But this is a heck of a lot faster than your body's own um, ability to heal a sprain, strain, or injury. So let me give an example in terms of a tendon sprain. So I sprained my ankle back August of last year and I had an MRI to pinpoint where I sprained my ankle. And this is highly recommended because if you have a practitioner who's guessing where your sprain is, you might be wasting some of this platelet rich plasma, the, this gold that's coming from your body. Make sure you have an MRI so that we know exactly where to target. I highly recommend finding a practitioner who has a ultrasound so that you can, the, that individual knows how to operate the ultrasound, can guide the, the injection right to that sprain or strain and go right in there. Um, highly, highly recommended because it'll target your treatment even better. Now, in that case, I have my ankle that was sprained in August of 2016 and each week I was treating my sprain and I actually sprained tendon and a ligament and I went to both areas targeted with my injections and I did this weekly I didn't do it monthly because I wanted to hurry this up and get things going and I am able to move my ankle. Mobility is great. Everything is great. I have no issues subsequently from that. I was actually out of CrossFit for one week and then went right back in terms of limited. And by the end of six weeks, I was back to full um, capacity. And so that's a huge turnaround. That's just me. Um, other folks that have had platelet-rich plasma in terms of sports athletes, Peyton Manning had platelet-rich plasma done on his neck prior to the Super Bowl. And in that case, I mean, that was huge for him. And obviously he played in the Super Bowl and, and did well. And something to keep in mind in terms of, and, and this, you know, these types of things with platelet-rich plasma are, are crucial for sports athletes who want to get back in the game fast. And so something to keep in mind for those of you who are maybe weekend warriors or you have something coming up and you have a sprain or strain that just won't seem to heal. Or even if you're someone who has a chronic issue, it's it just speeds the process up because a lot of these sprains and strains, especially the older that you are, they linger because your body takes longer to heal when you are older. 
and dependent on females if we're low in estrogen our tendons are even more prone to have issues and so just something to keep in mind platelet rich plasma can be absolutely stinking amazing for speeding up the healing process and it's non-toxic it's your body's own blood nothing else besides calcium chloride which naturally occurs in your blood body anyway is injected you can have some lidocaine pain reliever injected with it if you really want to i typically have folks just do the plasma and the calcium chloride and call it good So something to keep in mind if you are finding that you're just not healing. Just basically take your own blood and deliver it right to the spot. Tell your body what's up. It's it's awesome. Platelet-rich plasma is one of my favorite treatments, and I love doing this in my practice and love to geek out on it. So if you are just struggling with something from bald spots to fine lines, wrinkles, scars or a ligament or tendon tear or a muscle tear hey this is what you want to look at in terms of getting some quick results i've put some resources at the end of my podcast to help you with some research give you a little bit more background on platelet-rich plasma and I highly encourage that you Google platelet-rich plasma in your area and see who's doing it. Go over to their offices, get your free consultation with them, drill them in terms of what kind of equipment they use, what process they use, get the information that you need and try it out. I, I think it's probably by far one of the best treatments out there that doesn't require any medication and just requires from you to make sure that you're eating healthy. And hey, it's another excuse to to keep yourself eating healthy so that, hey, if you do need this, you will have the best blood and platelets ever to heal up your body. So We've talked all about platelet-rich plasma and how it can help you to slow down the signs of aging and help with injuries. I highly recommend you check out my resources, and I hope you've enjoyed this episode of The Health Fix. I'm your host, Dr. Janine Krauss. Thanks for listening. Thanks for tuning in to The Health Fix, the podcast all about taking control of your health, rebelling against aging, and having fun every day. A lot of patients ask me, do you think I'm aging too fast? So, I created an evaluation checklist for you to see for yourself. Plus, I created a resource guide to help you slow down the aging process right now. You can find it for free on my website, drjkrausnd.com. If you like this podcast, help get the word out to others by liking it and rating it. If you'd like more natural health tips and want to join our Facebook community where I interact daily, Click on the Join Group button on our website at drjkrausnd.com.